so far, all the lessons have been talked about where I'm falling on the side that he's most likely to fall on, the, the arm that I'm trapped. But sometimes you're going to fall on this side, okay? Which is used to be called this. Am I in shot on that one? Yeah. yeah. Which we used to call the strong side, and for good reason because I can attack with gi or hoodie, <laughs> <laughs> okay, etc. But as soon as I relinquish the hand grips, what's he going to do? He's going to defend, so he's got his hands as well, isn't he? So you're in a battle where two, his two hands are fighting my hands. Whereas on the other side, where I had these grips, okay, since I eliminated that, I had access to this, which we, we looked at the one hand and choking, all that sort of thing. So it's very useful to sort of bear in mind. And just because you fall on this side, you think, aha, fool, he doesn't know I've got access, but he can also defend. So we have to still use this concept of eliminating the hands. This is where we're going to push down, we're getting rid of here, and I'm locking up here. This gives me freedom here with this hand. So with this hand, what I'm going to do is bring his hand over to this head side and bring this here. Okay, we're just holding here. I want to eliminate this hand as well because he's going to defend with this hand. Yep. So I want to eliminate that by doing this, and then we're just going to sink. He's got such a thick hoodie. I can't. We're going to sink it in here. All right, and we're going to try and attack from here with the one-handed right naked choke or the conventional. <laughs> so this is our drill. We're going to fall onto the side where, which is which we traditionally called the strong side. And don't forget your feet position as well. Try and get a good discipline here. All right. We're going to push down. And we're going to try and, if you can do this, brilliant. But I find that slips off. So trap it with a close guard here. Take your arm out. We're going to hook around the head. Bring it over here so your head is between the ground and him. All right. Now this hand is a problem, so he's immediately going to start defending this hand here. Push underneath. We eliminate that from our uh, defense. His defense. This hand now becomes free to go deeper, deeper, and deeper. And we're using that thing that we did on Sunday where we just rotate it, and it's really, really mean. It didn't work because he's got such a thick hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> If that doesn't work, you can take out the second hand, but be prepared that he's going to defend with this hand. But to be honest, this hand is so deep, I mean, what are you going to do? You can pull my forearm, but it's very hard to fight where you need to, which is, it's very hard to defend whether this hand is sneaking behind his neck here. If I did my hand like this, he could stop it and prevent my rear naked choke. So this time we go here like this, and then we would do that rotation rear naked choke. Um, so pretty much a repeat of what we did in the Sunday, but this time we're on the other side, we're using the same concept of trapping the arms, but a slightly different order of things. Does everyone want to see that again? Yes? No problem at all. You need your glasses? No, no, no. You can go closer if you need. <laughs> <laughs> this time we're falling onto this side. Right. So I had the opportunity to trap this thing, that's what we did in the drill, but it's not going to be brilliant because my arms in the way and everything, I can't put anything around. So I'm going to just try it here. Bring it around here. But I can't really, I suppose I could do a struggle from here, but it's, I haven't got the, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to quite work, is it? Yeah, it's yeah, still the thing. So why not bring the head to the other side? There's nothing you can do to stop that. Put your head in the way. Now this hand is going to be your tackle hand. It's really deep. If this hand is defending, you can move it out of the way like you do with one hand and make a chain. It works even better than anything. Well, even with the game, it's pretty, pretty mean, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes? Oh, one thing I forgot to say. If they are tucking their chin in, don't forget you can do the, <laughs> the mean <laughs> thing just like that. <laughs> Alright. And to those who are repeating, they are going to tuck their chin in, so you should be able to see Yes? Yes. Give it a go, guys. Two, two, one. Now, sometimes the best one in the world he escapes, and how would you escape? You put your head on the ground, you slide out over the leg, and um, you're kind of in trouble here, all right? So, <coughs> we need to find a plan B to meet against that, against that. So, as I'm here, and he puts his head on the ground, and he finds a way to escape from here. And as he turns, right, I want to, you see he's escaped this leg here, all right? But I've still got this hand. Tap it here, rotate myself underneath him. Now where am I? Does anybody know this? Crucifix. 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 
Let's just do the drill part first before we the of the crystals. Uh, he likes this side, the, the underhook side, because it's quite easy, easier to get his head on the ground. As he um, escapes, usually they use this hand to prevent me from getting to mount, because uh, if, if I just let him slide away, and he doesn't defend there, we'll just turn him to mount, right? I mean, you should do that, because that would be what this thing to do. If you just lie there and let him escape, then <laughs> so uh, let's not even have this, let's just do seat work, alright? So he pushes him here, if he pushes here, that gives me an opportunity to trap the arm. I think it's perfectly fine to do this, but you can also do this. Either way, we're squeezing here and we need to reorientate ourselves underneath. So I need to get his head and back here, like that. Alright? Um, this is why I might be overhook here. Uh, from previous, because this gives me a lot of control. So let's assume we have that, and then it's hard to get. So instead of the seatbelt grip, I'm having the overhook grip. A little tip for you, if you have the overhook grip, we grab the meat of his palm. We just turn it out a little bit. It's really annoying. It's not quite a wrist lock, but it's just really annoying. Alright, so he does the same thing. He escapes on that side. Then he pushes, which gives me the arm here, and I just use this to control him. I must have his head and shoulder girdle on my body. If he slips down, He's escaped. All right. If he, he can go. So if you're from here, you can pretty much have uh, good control of him. Squeeze the knees together. Okay, uh, and then we'll look at some techniques from there. Do you want to see that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you done? Mm -hmm. Now it's fiddly, but I think if you have the right grips, you can get there. Because his concern is to escape. He's not going to counter you doing the crucifix if he has an inkling of an escape. So actually let's do it where we have the overhook here. This is quite tameable. I don't think it's that hard to, to, to get this grip. Right. And also I'm grabbing a palm here. Right. As he gets his head to the ground, and he pops over my leg, I need to control this arm. And grab right here, I'll take from here, and now I'm crucifying. It's just like one move. Um, when I did it on you, I had this leg over. <coughs> if you can, try and get the outside leg over here and squeeze it. You've got a lot more control. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's a lever. I can lever him here. And when I stretch him out, that doesn't feel too good for you, does it? Mm -hmm. uh, if you want, ask your opponent to try and just wriggle a bit so you can escape from here. So he goes side to side, he goes down, he goes up. You should be in control. If he's sliding down too much, you need to move in. And then you have good uh, crucifix control. Anybody want to see that again? It's been a long time since we've done crucifix, so maybe some of you forgot. No? Pretty good? Okay, three to one. Uh, so let's add bits to it to make it more fun, so you have an end goal. Yeah. Well, I'll use the hand again if that's alright. Yeah. When you do the drill, start from the escape thing, <laughs> so you really get into practice with it. All right. uh, I have my little hook, overhook here, and I'm losing it, I'm losing it, using the escape. And then Marie up here. Pushing, but he doesn't have to push. I'm already targeting this arm as my next thing I want to get over here. Now, because his head is continuing to go on the ground, I can hold this station for a little bit, but I do need to pop his head over here. This is a bit that you'll find a bit difficult. Although, to be fair, there isn't going to be too much resistance. So just try and resist that move. This, he doesn't really have his major muscle groups available to stop me from doing this. Now, your trick is to keep him here. Because right? if, it's, if it's not a, a convincing head shift, he, he's quite loose. Right? So this is where this arm comes in. As you pop him over, you then reach the back of your head, as some of you were doing, as you remember, and you're just extending his arms out, hence the crucifix. Uh, uh -huh. And then you find he doesn't have a, the ability to use this hand to s defend this. He doesn't have the ability to use this arm to defend. And I have a free arm. So he goes back to the same concept of when we had normal back control, you need to eliminate his arms. Now you have the ability to attack. Okay, so let's finish this off with a very basic key choke. This goes around, deep as you can, and you're twisting. When you twist, we'll do it gently because the event doesn't like it. To twist, it helps to also move your head back a bit because it creates a tension here and stretches his shoulder out. That's number one. Number two is you're grabbing here, popping over his head and pulling that way which is the same thing basically, but this is kind of just fucked it in. Number three, we're grabbing here, pushing here, 
Okay. <laughs> so your three options are <coughs> just grabbing here. So maybe he tucks his chin in. That's not good. You can still do the thing. We do that. Yeah. Or you can reach here, with my fingertips, and that pops over. Fingers up, pull here, or you can grab here, the far lapel, pop that over, and just jam your forearm in, stretching out. Finally, our good old friend, grind, 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 all the way here, chin on your own hand, <laughs> the one handed RNC. Can I see that all again? <laughs> hey Dan, did you want to see that? I wanted to see that, I wanted to see that, I thought you should see it. Yeah, I didn't need to see that. Do you want to pick someone that I should do it on? <laughs> <laughs> Everything starts, I want you guys to Make start. Make sure you're listening. Don't have to Do it from the escape, okay? So he escapes already. I'm really targeting his arm. Here, make sure he's kind of around about here. If he's too far away, then you still have the ability to manipulate him where you want to be. This hand, this hand now, goes up here, stretching out. But really, don't just hold it here, take your arm out, shall we? Take your arm out. Okay, so good. Make sure you can't get his arm out. Now you can take your time. Check number one. <laughs> Stretch. We can't tap. <laughs> Check number two is exactly the same, but I'm starting from here, so he doesn't quite see what's going on. It, you have to get a bit of slack. Loop it over, fingers up, and the same thing again. Choke number three is now on that, the far collar. Okay, thumb down, thumb down. Leap it over, jam your forearm into his head, twist. Well, you can use your feet to turn. <laughs> <laughs> and and so it's, goes <laughs> it's just straight in the so yeah. so you Your manly chest gives up to us. Too big. Yeah, I wish. Cool. Yeah. So this one, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through, just like we did before, chin on here. Like you whisper into his ear and we twist him. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Four attacks for the price of one. Uh, make sure you're in control though. Make sure he can't get his arms loose. Make sure he can't sort of push himself up or down. And then your crucifix is as strong as normal back control. Yes? Okay. Give it a go, three, two, one. Let's